Welcome to the online operating instructions for the Truma Trumatic S3002. The S3002 is made up of three separate appliances. These three appliances are the S3002 gas heater, the electric ultra heat and the fan unit. Each of these appliances are independent of each other and are controlled by three separate control panels. The S3002 is a gas heater which can be operated by the control knob on the top of the heater casing. Dependent on the vehicle manufacturer, the heater can be either auto ignition or piezo, which means the heater will be manually operated. Both of these will have different starting procedures. It is possible to purchase a kit which allows you to convert piezo ignition to automatic. If your heater has auto ignition, Turn the control knob to thermostat setting and press it down as far as it will stop. The amount of heat emitted by the heater can be altered through the control knob. The numbers on the dial represent your own comfort level. If for any reason you need to get behind the front cover, this can be removed quite easily. Firstly, check there are no screws underneath the top case. Located in both corners, there are two springs, which should pull it forwards. It should lift off fairly easily. When replacing, make sure the front case is firmly pushed down and back in place. A lot of people don't know that there is a battery in the gas ignition box of the S3002. To change this battery, lift the slide panel in the igniter block and replace the battery. If you find your case doesn't fit properly prior to removing, it means that the installation box has been incorrectly fitted or you have loose springs or a damaged front case. A separate control panel operates the electric ultra heat. Dependent on your manufacturer, this panel can be anywhere within your van. You will need to refer to the manufacturer instructions. The control panel for the ultra heat is very straightforward. It comprises of an on-off switch and a temperature dial. To turn off the appliance, the switch has to be in the off position. You might be wondering why the ultra heat has three different settings. This is to cater for different amp settings. This will allow use of the heater even when you're on sites with low amps. The final appliance is the fan unit, which is run by an electric source of 12 volts. It is designed to minimize the surface temperature during heater operation. It cannot generate any heat itself. A benefit of the fan is that even if there is no hookup, the unit can still run from the battery. The fan can be operated by the other switch on the heater casing and can be engaged through manual or automatic operation. To enable manual operation of your fan, move the switch to the left, to the curved arrow symbol. This will enable you to determine how fast you want the fan to go, despite the amount of heat emissions. To enable automatic operation of your fan, move the switch to the A symbol on the control switch. When the fan is in automatic mode, it adjusts its speed to the respective heating emission of the heater. It will increase as the amount of heat increases, which means that when it is left in automatic operation, it is dependent on the amount of heat available. A lot of people comment that they can feel cold air blowing out, but the fan will only be blowing the air around which is already in the van. The speed of the fan is determined by the sensor located within the fan unit, which will then tell it how fast to go. If left in automatic mode, it is important to remember that this does not mean that the appliance is off. In order to turn the fan off, the switch needs to be moved to the centre knob. For more information on the S3002, visit www.trumauk.com.